Although we humans have been exploring space intensively for more than 100 years, we have discovered only a small part of all the things that exist in its vast reaches. Almost daily, researchers around the world announce new discoveries or the discovery of extraordinary phenomena. Sometimes these discoveries are explainable and fit into the picture of the cosmos we have explored so far. But objects and circumstances also regularly appear that are not so easily explained and puzzle or shock scientists. Are you interested in topics like these? You like the extraordinary? You're a fan of space exploration? Or you're a passionate hobby astronomer yourself? Then visit us regularly and subscribe to the channel. We'll keep you up to date with the latest news about exciting and unique discoveries in space, as well as all of NASA's current missions. In this list of 20 shocking space discoveries, we're going to take a look at perhaps the scariest find of all. Alien Base on the Moon From the late 1960s through the 1970s, NASA launched a manned Apollo mission to the moon almost every year. Then the program was abruptly discontinued. According to secret reports, this was due to the fact that aliens maintained several bases on the moon. These stations are supposed to have seen some of the Apollo astronauts. Officially, there were no contacts. For decades, however, rumors have persisted that there is a space station on the far side of the moon, the side we never see from Earth. According to insiders, NASA and other space agencies know of an extraterrestrial civilization watching Earth from the moon. Officially, NASA explains the end of the moon space travel very differently. Too expensive, too complex, uninteresting. So the statements read generally. But can these explanations of NASA also be the reason why the Soviet Union abruptly stopped its plans to fly to the moon at the beginning of the 1970s? Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is currently the largest structure ever sighted in the observable universe. At 10 million light years in size, it occupies about 10% of the universe known to date. The filamentary Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall consists of a collection of so called superclusters. Each supercluster contains several thousand galaxies, and along the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall are quite a few of these superclusters. All in all, the structure could contain hundreds of thousands of galaxies with an uncountable amount of stars and even more exoplanets. Fast Radio Flashes from Distant Galaxy For a little more than 10 years, researchers have been catching a radio signal from about 12 million light years away. A single one of these fast radio flashes lasts less than a second, carrying the energy of several million stars. The signal originates from a galaxy called M82, located in the constellation of the Big Dipper. As a trigger, it's thought that massive cosmic explosions, high-energy pulsars in the environment of gigantic black holes, or even an extraterrestrial civilization are possible. Strange Gamma Radiation in 2014, researchers detected strange gamma rays being sent in our direction by a then unknown object. The source eventually turned out to be a binary star system about 5,000 light years away. There, the neutron star PSR J2039-5617, less than 20 miles in size, orbits a mini star that is only about one sixth the size of our sun. The radiation most likely comes from the extreme rotation of the neutron star. PSR J2039-5617 spins on its axis a full 377 times in just one second. Vladimir Kavalyanok's UFO Sightings Vladimir Kavalyanok is a former Soviet Union cosmonaut and an experienced Air Force pilot. In 1981, while flying over Africa, the experienced spaceman and pilot claims to have seen a disc-shaped flying object that accompanied him for a while. Then the UFO suddenly turned away, exploded a short time later, and left behind a golden white cloud. A few years earlier, when Kavalyanak was part of the crew of the Soviet space station Salyut 6, the cosmonaut claims to have seen a flying body, clearly controlled by intelligence, around the station. 
TRAPPIST-1D TRAPPIST-1D is an Earth-like exoplanet in the star system TRAPPIST. At a distance of only 40 light-years, it could eventually be a destination for humans setting out to colonize space. Experts suspect that in about 100 years, humans will have the technology to take space travelers to the TRAPPIST system in a flight time of 30 to 40 years. Until then, however, it remains to be determined whether TRAPPIST-1D has a sufficiently dense and protective atmosphere to accommodate humans and whether whether the planet might not already be inhabited by other beings. Red Square Nebula Astronomers found a red and square bipolar nebula in the constellation Snake. Squares are a great rarity in the cosmos, dominated by spirals and circles. Closer examination revealed an X-shaped structure at the center of the nebula. The way light refracts through the X creates the square. So far, only a handful of square objects have been sighted in the entire universe. Black Hole Holm 15A Holm 15A is a massive galaxy located at the center of the galaxy cluster Abel 85, about 700 million light-years from Earth. Supermassive galaxies have huge areas in their center, in which there is no star, but a supermassive black hole. The black hole in the center of Holm 15A is considered to be the largest at present. Our Sun would fit into it 40 million times. Mini Moon 2020 SO on December 1, 2020, an object initially classified as a mini-moon flew past Earth at a distance of about 40,000 miles. The object, named 2020 SO, captured the attention of researchers for months, until it finally emerged that 2020 SO was not a previously unknown Earth satellite, but an old rocket stage from the Voyager 2 mission. The mini-moon lost its title again and now officially orbits the Earth as space junk. 300 million habitable planets. Are we alone in space or not? Given the gigantic size, as well as the myriad galaxies and star systems, it almost can't be that Earth is home to the only intelligent, organic life in space. Researchers set out in 2020 to determine the number of planets that could harbor life based on probabilities, algorithms of the repetitions of certain structures in space, and the number of exoplanets known to date. The result was 300 million. That means that, purely arithmetically, there must be 300 million planets in the universe which are inhabited or offer the conditions for life. Ice Volcano on Ceres Ceres is a dwarf planet orbiting the Sun at the very edge of the solar system in almost complete darkness. Researchers have now found evidence for cryovolcanism on Ceres, but such findings have so far only been found on the icy moons of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. On the moons, enormous gravitational forces from the parent planets are the triggers for ice volcanism, which forces are responsible for the volcanism on Ceres, which is only 294 miles in diameter, is a mystery so far. Chicxulub Asteroid About 66 million years ago, an asteroid is said to have abruptly ended the era of dinosaurs on Earth. For a long time, this explanation for the disappearance of the dinosaurs was pure theory. Then researchers found the impact crater in what is now Mexico, off the Yucatan Peninsula. The six-mile-wide asteroid left a 112-mile-wide crater with a force equivalent to several million Hiroshima atomic bombs. The crater and the death asteroid were named Chicxulub, which roughly translates to calamity. 2014 UZ-224 2014 ZU-224 is an object located in the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune. The discovery was a feat of astronomy because objects at this distance reflect so little sunlight that they are difficult to detect even by super telescopes. After 525 nights of meticulous searching, it was finally determined that 2014 ZU-224 was clearly the third most distant object ever sighted by humans in the solar system, and that the chunk of rock could be a new dwarf planet. Ocean on Mars 
oceans very likely existed on the surface of Mars about 4.3 billion years ago. In 2016, satellite photos provided evidence of two mega tsunamis that occurred on the red planet. The first monster wave may have been caused by a meteorite impact, while the second occurred many millions of years after the first and was likely the result of extreme climatic changes on Mars. Both waves were up to almost 400 feet high and raced inland a thousand feet with incredible force. Whether life existed on Mars at that time is not yet known. Bacteria on the Moon When astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins returned from the moon in 1969, they were initially quarantined for fear of evil lunar bacteria. Today we know that there are no bacteria on the moon, or at least there weren't before humans arrived. Shortly afterwards, astronauts from the Apollo 12 crew collected the remains of an old lunar probe on the moon and brought it back to Earth. Investigations found bacteria that apparently came from one of the probe's designers and survived on the probe for several years in space. Since the finding, NASA has been working with higher hygiene standards to protect space from human bacteria. Bennu Asteroid in 2016, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft approached one of the most dangerous objects in the solar system. The Bennu asteroid is not only one of the oldest asteroids in the solar system, but may also be on a direct collision course with Earth. Researchers calculated that the more than 1,600-foot-tall, 60-million-ton asteroid could impact Earth on September 24, 2182. To learn more about the nature of the chunk, OSIRIS-REx took a sample from the asteroid. Currently, the rock is on its way back to Earth. The sample will come down over the U.S. state of Utah in 2023. Based on the analyses, scientists could devise a plan to divert Bennu from its course or destroy the asteroid completely. Exoplanet without a sun That planets orbit stars seems to be a cosmic regularity, but as always, exceptions prove the rule. Researchers have now found several exoplanets orbiting black holes. At first, researchers thought the planets would be swallowed by the black holes, but apparently that's not true. Rather, it looks like the planets formed in the dust disks around the black holes and are somehow resisting their massive gravitational pull. Boomerang Nebula The Boomerang Nebula is located about 5,000 light-years from Earth in the constellation Centaur. The nebula was first photographed in detail by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1998. Further investigations revealed the nebula to be the coldest currently known place in the universe, with a temperature of only 1 Kelvin, or negative 458 degrees. The Boomerang Nebula is formed by gas streams emitted by a star in the center of the nebula. New Saturn Ring Saturn has a unique ring system composed of dust ice, and debris. The rings also contain Saturn's more than 80 moons. One of the outermost moons is Phoebe. The moon floats in the thinnest and at the same time, widest ring of Saturn. Saturn's outermost ring is about 300 miles wider than the planet itself and according to the latest findings, is formed by material emitted by the moon Phoebe. The Oldest Galaxies in July 2022, NASA finally released the first images from the new James Webb Space Telescope. In the process, the researchers found something that shouldn't even exist. Galaxies like Glass Z13 could only have existed 300 to 400 million years after they already did. And that's exactly what researchers previously thought was impossible. But Glass Z13 is not alone. The first images from the new telescope have already revealed about a dozen galaxies of this age. In practical terms, this finding means that the universe may be much older than previously thought, or that the Big Bang theory is wrong. To wrap up this video, tell us which of these discoveries surprised, shocked, or left you speechless. Is it evidence of aliens in space? the largest structures, coldest places, or the craziest nebula? Let us know and share your opinion with us, as always, in the comments.